beginning from today you begin to make progress begin to move forward the spirit of procrastination will not slow you down will not derail you in the name of jesus you are welcome to the 30th day of our 63 days fasting and prayers the almighty god who had brought us this far will carry us through in the name of jesus today the focus of our prayers will be prayer of mercy for rccg personal and church cleansing and our text is taken from the book of proverbs chapter 16 verse 6 proverbs chapter 16 verse 6 by mercy and truth iniquity is purged and by the fear of the lord men depart from evil our introduction says knowing well that we are the church jesus is coming for a clean church without spots or wrinkles as a covenant church we have the responsibility to perfect holiness in the fear of the Lord, according to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. As we pray for cleansing for the church and for our personal selves, may the Almighty God answer us in the name of Jesus. Our first prayer point says, Thank God for the privilege to come before His throne of grace in order to obtain mercy. Lord, we thank you for the privilege to come before your throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. For your word tells us in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 that we should therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace for help in time of need. Lord, we come boldly to your throne of grace on behalf of ourselves, on behalf of the church. Let mercy prevail over us in the name of Jesus. We come boldly, we obtain mercy, we obtain grace afresh, O God, as a church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, be merciful unto your son, Pastor E.E. E. Adeboe, and his family in every area of their shortcomings and grant them peace all round in the name of Jesus. Father, please, we pray for our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.E. E. Adeboe, and his family. Let them receive your mercy. As we are praying for Daddy and his family, God is also extending mercy to you and your family. In the name of Jesus, mercy of the Lord on all sides for you to enjoy the peace of God. Lord, we pray for your son, Pastor E.E. E. Adeboe and his family let your mercy reach out to them let your peace be their portion in all areas of their lives let your mercy speak for them over judgment in the name of jesus concerning the assignment you have given to them concerning your church lord help them support your son support his wife support the entire family with the assignments you have given to them from the churches within nigeria and outside nigeria to all arms of the church that are being managed by this family lord please let your mercy be available to them and let your peace like a river be their portion in jesus name we pray amen you will say father be merciful unto all our leaders and their families in every area of their shortcomings and grant them peace all round in the name of jesus lord we pray for mercy concerning all our leaders in all areas of their lives and in any area of their lives where they are falling short of your glory lord let mercy prevail over judgment for all our leaders we pray that you be merciful be merciful unto them be merciful unto their families from the regional pastors to the provincial pastors to the zona pastors area pastors parish pastors and even all up to the assistant general overseers the special assistants and to the continental overseers lord let mercy prevail concerning them concerning them and their family let them enjoy your mercy in any area that they are falling short of your glory in any area of our shortcomings let mercy prevail for us lord have mercy on us oh god and let your peace flood our hearts let your peace be a portion in all situations that we go through in jesus mighty name we pray amen you say father have mercy upon us for acts of discrimination and segregation due to lust and selfishness in the name of jesus lord we plead for mercy for every act of discrimination and segregation and any act of lust and selfishness lord have mercy upon us because we are still in this flesh and the flesh is always warring against the spirit lord we ask oh god that your mercy will be available to us that your strength will be our strength in the inner man in the name of jesus lord we pray you will deliver us from every form of segregation discrimination 
from every form of lust, from every form of selfishness as a people, as a church, as leaders, as ministers and workers. Lord, we plead for mercy. Deliver us, O oh God, from the spirit of lust, from the spirit of discrimination and segregation in your church. Let us be free by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We say, Father, forgive us where we have discriminated against the poor, the disabled, and those not from our tribe, other religions in the name of Jesus, in our workplaces, in your church, and in our communities. Lord, in any way we have discriminated between the poor, the, between the disabled, between those who are homeless, between one tribe or the other. Lord, have mercy upon us as a church, as a people. We plead for mercy in any act of discrimination that we have put forward, that we have shown forth. Let mercy prevail in any way we have recognized the rich and we have put down the poor. In any way we have put aside those who are disabled and we have washed them down. Lord, let mercy prevail. Help us to see others as your image, people made in your image, in your likeness. Lord, help us to have the right perspective as you have concerning people in the name of Jesus to treat people as you will treat them. Lord, to love them as you will love them. Help us, oh God, as a church. Help us as a people in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, have mercy upon us concerning the sins of backbiting whereby we have destroyed others behind their back with our mouths in order to gain favor. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of backbiting that had ravaged the church, that has infiltrated the church, Lord, have mercy upon us, O God, and deliver us from that spirit. Send that spirit out of our midst, the spirit of backbiting, to pull other people down so that we can receive favor. Lord, be merciful unto us as ministers and workers in the redeemed Christian Church of God. Lord, in any way we've perpetrated this act of backbiting, of keeping malice, of putting other people down, of talking ill of other people. Lord, have mercy upon us, O God. Be merciful unto us in the name of Jesus. Let not the spirit of the end time destroy your church, O God. Deliver us from this spirit by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, have mercy upon your ministers for those who are not being the express image of the word they preach on the pulpit. Lord, have mercy. People will preach your word and do not live the life of preaching the word. People will preach forgiveness and don't forgive others. People will preach love and they hate others. People will preach holiness and they walk in unrighteousness. Lord, please have mercy on such ministers amongst us. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on my brother and sister praying this prayer. In any way, we've not lived up to your word. Lord, looking at ourselves in the mirror and forgetting the kind of person we are, continuing in our old ways of life. Lord, have mercy upon us as a people, O God, as ministers and workers in your vineyard. Lord, deliver us from the spirit of the world, from worldliness, from friendship with the world. Help us to live a life pleasing unto the master, a life of holiness, obedience to your word. We receive mercy for newness of life today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say, Father, by your mercy, help us to always have sober reflections in our lives, being mindful of how we appear before the mirror of your word. In the name of Jesus, help us, O oh God, by your mercy to always reflect on your word, to ponder on your word, to meditate on your word until your word enters into our spirit, until your word lightens us up. Lord, until we see ourselves in your word and we make necessary adjustments and changes. Lord, help us, O oh God, to always see the reflection of ourselves in your word by your mercy and to live a life pleasing unto you in accordance with your word in the name of Jesus. Receive the mercy of God to obey the word of God, to live the life of Christ through the word of God in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, have mercy upon us for the sins of procrastination. In the name of Jesus, in any way we've procrastinated, we've delayed till tomorrow what we should have done today, we've delayed till next week what we should have done this week. Lord, let mercy prevail over judgment. Let the spirit of procrastination not terminate our destiny. Let it not cut our destiny short. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of procrastination will not destroy you, will not destroy your family. 
in the name of Jesus. Whatever God inspires you to do now, He will give you the capacity, the energy, the strength, the zeal to get it done now. In the name of Jesus, beginning from today, you begin to make progress, you begin to move forward. The spirit of procrastination will not slow you down, will not derail you. In the name of Jesus, we receive mercy to overcome the spirit of procrastination, to do what we need to do today and not delay till tomorrow. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, have mercy upon us for not caring enough for the needy in your house. In the name of Jesus, have mercy on us, O God, for not caring enough for the needy. Those who need help, those who need support, those who need guidance, those who need counsel. Lord, have mercy upon us for not giving attention to them enough. Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy on my brother and my sister. Lord, in any way we've not given attention to the needy amongst us as you want us to do. You said when we do good to anyone of the household of faith, we have done it to you. To the least amongst us, when we are good to them, we have been good to you. To the poor amongst us, when we are good to them, we have been good to you. We have lent unto you. Lord, we pray that you will show us mercy in any way we've fallen short of being a help to the needy, of being eyes to the blind, of being ears to the deaf, of being mouth to the dumb, of being feet to those who are crippled. Lord, be merciful unto us. Beginning from today, we will live a life that pleases you by supporting others, by helping others to rise. In the name of Jesus and God will send help for your own need also. As God meets your need, it will empower you to meet the needs of others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, have mercy upon us for our unbelief and grant us deliverance from the terror of worry which we have brought upon ourselves. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver us from the spirit of unbelief. Father, have mercy upon us and grant us deliverance from terror, from the terror of worrying, O God, that we have brought upon ourselves. Lord, from today, we will not worry. Grace not to worry. Grace not to worry. Grace not to worry according to what is happening around us. Grace to be focused on you. Grace to keep loving you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we receive. Not to worry concerning what is happening around us. We receive mercy to have Christ on our inside, to enjoy the peace of God that passes all understanding. Lord, we receive mercy for this grace, for absolute peace, total peace all around us. Whatever happens, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, have mercy upon us for acts of comparison and creating rooms for unhealthy competition in your church. In the name of Jesus, Father, your word says those who compare themselves with themselves are not wise. Lord, please be merciful unto us. In any way we have compared ourselves with others that are led to unhealthy rivalry and competition. Lord, let mercy prevail for us. Let mercy deliver from the spirit of competition amongst your ministers amongst your workers, amongst the members in the redeemed Christian Church of God. Purge us, O God, of the spirit of competition. Help us complement one another. Help us love one another. Help us work together as believers, as true children of God. In the name of Jesus, we receive mercy to work in harmony, in, in unity, in oneness of mind. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We say, Father, have mercy upon us for the sins of witchcraft through psychophancy and eye service in the church. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come against the spirit of witchcraft, psychophancy, boot licking in your church. Lord, cleanse your church, hold your church. We pray for mercy, O God, in any way we have shown for the nature and the character of psychophants, of bootlickers, of deceivers. Lord, have mercy upon us as a church, upon the ministers and workers, people who show eye service before someone and behind the person, they pull the person down. They do otherwise. They walk in unrighteousness, in iniquity. Lord, deliver us from this mindset, from this spirit, from this attitude in your church, amongst we ministers, and workers have mercy on us oh god let us not be destroyed by this act by this attitude in the name of jesus we pray amen you say father have mercy upon us for the sins of favoritism preferential treatment to the rich at the detriment of the poor in the name of jesus father have mercy upon us for the sin and the habits of favoritism to pull other people up and to bring other people down just to win favor lord have mercy upon us for this this kind of preferential treatment that we give 
walking in the ways of the world, not doing as you want us to do, not seeing all men equally before you as you see them. Lord, every spirit of the end time of worldliness in your church, showing favoritism, showing God fatherism, Lord, showing preferential treatment from, from the poor to the rich and segregating and putting people in disarray. Lord, we plead for mercy to unite us together and to treat all men the way we should treat them. Lord, we receive mercy for ourselves as a church. Purge us and cleanse us of every act of worldliness, of favoritism, preferential treatment, of Godfatherism. Lord, purge your church, O oh God, and let there be a new beginning. In Jesus' name we receive mercy. Amen. You say, Father, have mercy upon your church for the sins of pride among the ministers and workers in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive mercy for your church for the spirit of pride, spirit of selfishness, spirit of self-centeredness in your church amongst ministers and workers. Lord, have mercy upon us and deliver us from the spirit of pride, the spirit of being self-centered, self-conscious, egoism. Lord, have mercy upon us as a people. Deliver us from ourselves. Deliver us from our flesh. Deliver us from worldliness and carnality. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will have mercy upon you. Pride will not have power over you. Pride will not destroy you. The Bible says pride goes before destruction. It goes before you fall. You will not be proud in your spirit. The Almighty God will help you to stand firm in humility to have the mind of Christ, to obey the word of God and to submit yourself to the Lordship of Jesus and to the authority that God places you over and me over in the name of Jesus. Lord, we shall begin to walk in humility in the fear of God. Purge us of every iota of pride and help us to begin to live a life pleasing unto you in all that we do. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We appreciate you for cleansing your church, for cleansing your people, your ministers, your workers and for giving us newness of life, newness of motive, newness of spirit, soul, and body. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let's keep praying together every day. God bless you in Jesus' name.